talk a little bit more about the whole so-called X Gate thing, you know. But I made references to it like on earlier posts, you know, where I said something about that that uh, that is just kind of comical, you know, where it's like like all they do is just basically say Hill Mary a thousand times or Rosemary a thousand times, and all your money back guarantee if you don't stop. If you don't stop having homosexual urges, you know, we can electric you. I think honestly, maybe those people know that that deep down, that deep down they're in denial that that they cannot change, and then deep down some of those people like uh, Pat Robinson and all these other people know that gays cannot change deep down. So they probably can do the next best thing is by brainwashing them with the brainwashing them or exploring their whole fear their whole fear or religious beliefs of some sort. Uh, the whole faith in God and the whole faith of trying to keep their family together and blah 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 and all these other little things, you know, just to make them believe that they actually change when in reality they haven't changed. When in reality, that most of these people that are on there that say that they're changed and that they have been changed, you know, that they're secretly gay. They're secretly, in some way, and somehow, whether they had dreams about having sex with with a person of the same sex, and or secretly get turned on by by somebody of the same sex or whatever, you know. Or I heard all these little stories about. Uh, people who claim to be ex-gay, then all of a sudden they they had like a relapse or whatever, like John Polk or um, or a couple of other people, you know, some of the founders who left. And they said they hadn't changed at all. And there were some other people who said that that uh, that they that uh, I forgot what it was. Not just that they didn't change or anything, but or just they tried to change, but they never did, you know. But and then other people, it's like the like this one story that was on the Dallas Morning News probably last year, where this one guy that was sentenced to prison for uh, sexually assaulting the assaulting a bunch of men who were his clients in the ex gay ministries. And there were a couple of people that were also sentenced to prison who were allegedly for the same crime and all over the place. Apparently, I think it's just that, you know, given some time, I figure, you know, that these people, it's just simply that they just hold on to this sort of belief. It's simply because it's a matter of pride. It's pride that it's just the whole thing. That pride is the thing that very very thing that keeps him from understanding other people's point of views. It's the whole pride. Pride that is believe that my belief in God and my way of thinking is better than yours and that yours is wrong and everybody should believe the way I should believe because I am right. That's not how it goes. You know. Same people who have this belief that the world should revolve around them, or they, or people who have this sense of entitlement that they deserve everything in the world. The world doesn't work that way. The world shouldn't revolve around them. They shouldn't deserve everything in the world, and the world shouldn't worship, worship their beliefs just because they'll just have a huge temper tantrum if they don't. You know. But that's just how some of those uh, people are. But I think it's just, I don't know. Both it's pride, ignorance, arrogance, or ignorance, or a lot of other stuff, you know. But I don't know. 